Gather, children, sit for a spell. I'll tell you of black witches and where we dwell. Tatuba, though great, not the first of our kind. With magical DNA, flip our heritage and rewind. Stolen our language and mystical beliefs. Our evolution left from text so our children won't speak or seek. As the chiefs have their guns in wartime brute force, the priestess has her ancestors and spirits, of course, who direct and change history's course. We've toiled in the earth, black witches' blood spilled, shame eradicated, beat down, hear our cries, feel our shrills. It is here where I invite you, it is here where I'll spend. Come in, children. Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to Black Witch University. I am Lakeisha. And I'm Lorena Elizabeth. Um, it is almost time for the Vernal Equinox. Y'all know what that means. Springtime, new beginnings. We gonna be outside, y'all. Outside, doing the most, <laughs> wearing the least. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, you know what? Let me tell you something. I so look forward to wearing the least. Right. But right now, <laughs> now you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to do that for me because I, I can't wear the least. I'm still. I like, can clown enough for two. Don't please, worry. <laughs> just like post post random, scantily clad pictures on Instagram, and then you know. I can like transmute my face onto your <laughs> body and be like, I'm outside. <laughs> gladly. I will gladly comply. I would just be like, I could just put it in like Canva and put my face on top of your body. And then I can be okay, like, Okay, I'm going to oh. hold you to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're putting it on all our social media. <laughs> we have merged into a single being. Yes. That's it. That's me. That's me. That's you. We need to. Yeah. We, we need to make that happen because I cannot. Um, <laughs> I can't put any pictures of myself up on social media right now. I know. And and I can't put them away. <laughs> um, but I'm okay with with the white. Well, well, making peace. I'm making peace because you know I like my colors. And, and you know one song. It's not too much longer. No. So. It's not. Basically, you know, around the next equinox, like what, about a month after that, two weeks after that? Yeah, actually, September 3rd, so it'll be before. Oh, before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I like how that coincides. So too. I think that what we need to do is to build a bonfire in my backyard and get yes. naked. Yes. <laughs> Sky clad ritual. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Definitely. I'm down. Oh, uh, we need to do that. Anyway, y'all, welcome. Details forthcoming. <laughs> Might welcome. be open to patrons. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to BWU. We have so much uh, to talk about. We are going to talk about uh, the fact that uh, our readings were spot on. Um, at the beginning of the year, I, yeah. uh, we definitely suggest that you have a, a look at those readings on our Patreon. Um, it is the first reading of the year and it is open to the public. You actually don't have to be a patron to, to view that reading of the year. Um, and so far it has been spot on, mm -hmm. although I did say um, that this this war was gonna be like the second quarter and Russia was like no nah, bitch actually <laughs> actually oh, you know yes like he can wait but you know what interesting tidbit and I'm wondering if anybody else has heard this so there is like this lava rock in Japan mm -hmm. which recently split in half Mm. And this lava rock is said to have been a prison to a thousand year old ancient fox demon, mm. which and this fox demon craves power. And what it does is it will possess 
a powerful government official or you know religious official someone with a great amount of power it will possess them and cause them to you know commit unspeakable acts mm -hmm. so what i was waiting for was to see if anybody was going to say that the fox team escaped this rock and possessed vladimir putin um and then you know this ukraine war is the result of that and i i just thought that was really kind of interesting right because they yeah. do coincide you know it's kind of a a supernatural paranormal flavor right and you know i'm obsessed with those fantasy um chinese movies with the fox demons and the snake demons and they're yes, always like beautiful is. women or like hot men and but they're like you know demons and stuff so <clears throat> i mean you know we all we all believe in in the supernatural and Hi. paranormal and hello so i mean this is black witch university yeah. we believe in the paranormal and the supernatural yeah. Shoot, you at the wrong podcast if you don't believe in the <laughs> supernatural. I, I just wanted paranormal. to bring that up so, right. you know, that our listeners could look that up if, if they were interested in, you know, doing a little more research. But I, I just found that to be, like, very, very interesting. And, like, there's pictures of the rock and everything, like, split mm. in half, just suddenly split. After Girl, it, you like, gotta send me that. I, I haven't read yeah. that. You know, Lorena, let me tell it. you. Let me tell you. Uh, the super if you want the supernatural and the paranormal and go in a rabbit hole with somebody Lorena is <laughs> the witch to do that with I mean <laughs> while I'm up here while, let, let me tell you why I'm the one that will uh, start a riot on this land Lorena is deep 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 I'm riding in the underworld <laughs> in the underworld <laughs> I promise you I'm she rousing the dead <laughs> We are the yin and the yang, the dark and the light. I yeah. promise you. And sometimes it'd be the dark and the dark, depending on how how you fuck and with me. Sometimes it's the light and the light too, because yes, you know I is. do have a spark buried deep within. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you know, if you want to ride into the underworld and see some things, call Lorena. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's um, intense. It's intense. But it, it's um, so those readings, boo, our readings have been spot on. So I'm hoping that you all are um, at this point planting your seeds, like I suggested, mm -hmm. like trying to grow something. Because as you can see, these gas prices have went up. We told you about that. The economics. Ooh. We told you about that. We told y'all about these food, these gas, like uh, plan accordingly, y'all. We just want to remind you and take you back to those readings, okay? Yeah. Um, what do you want to say about, like, what have you noticed about the readings that have come up? I mean, naturally, we are very talented diviners. <laughs> and... <laughs> Period. I'm just saying, I mean, it's the truth. <clears throat> And so I, I just, I never really doubt what we see, like every single time, especially when we put our heads together, we get a pretty big picture. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if there's ever been a time where things didn't develop the way that we saw them developing, you know? No, not yet. Not um, yet. Not yet. I mean, sometimes I wish it would, you know not Maybe something else but i wish it would, was not a war but you know you it's know. just it's unfortunate but also things have to change anyway yeah. you know and what he what even with this war what putin has done it can't be undone he has shamed himself in front of the entire world he'll never recover from the shame and embarrassment but he's been right back into a corner you know, and that's a very dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, you know, even when Trump was president, all the people who exposed themselves, they're still exposed. Mm -hmm. You know, so consequences have to be paid. But the world needs to change. And the, the change is a painful process. And, you know, everybody doesn't want the same thing. Can we talk uh, talk about the fact that, you know, 
um white supremacy going against white supremacy like i like this is the, this is one aspect of how i see this war because what has played out in the news is like there's two things one they have Brittany um griner in jail yes, for, for a against... marijuana cartridge yeah, yeah right and not um, only that in russia wild wide scale drug transport like what it's so i i'm just i'm like wow and she could get 10 years there in russia um and so that's you know enslavement of a black person and then on the other side in ukraine uh black students african students have not beaten not allowed to board transportation come on like being kicked out of transportation being right. sent to the back of these lines that they've already been standing in for days. Right. And yeah. then, so you have two um, racist power, regimes. Racist regime coming against one another, right? Yeah, so and what are so- we supposed to care about that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? The only thing that I am, the only thing that I am, t- like, witnessing is the intersections at play when Which there, there is are war. many there are so many there's so many people with fuel, disabilities fuel, fuel grain like access to f- certain foods is going to be right there's yeah. people with disabilities there's black people there's queer people over there as well so this is affecting mothers with children so i am witnessing yeah. the intersections of oppression but I am also standing with black people yes. that are not getting any like, like are nothing. caught in the middle of white supremacy. Yeah. Yeah. They are caught in the middle of these power structures. And if you think that that will not somehow or is not right now playing out on American soil, on United States soil, you are sadly mistaken. Yeah. You got to be clear. I implore you all to get real clear, right? Um, do a detox this spring. So it might be something you want to do. Absolutely. Get in balance and get in gear. So let's talk about, let's go into, because this is the Vernal Equinox episode. Yeah. Let's uh, talk about, Lorena, um, some good rituals because we were talking before the podcast and I loved your idea about the vernal equinox. So go into it, girl. Okay. So, you know, the equinoxes are the time when we're at full balance, like the day is equal to the night. So I feel like these times the equinox really exists in like this perfect liminal space, like just right in the middle. Right. And that's mm-hmm. like, the, that's the perfect balance. Right. So, and equinox, you know, I talked about the EQ. So what are some things that we can get into like equilibrium, Mm -hmm. which of course is balance. So we need that inner equilibrium. We need outer equilibrium. We need to get into a centered state so that we can deal with things that come at us from either side. Right. And we can work on transmuting those things within ourselves when we are in equilibrium. And also things that are so needed in the world that we want to invite in equality and even That's more true. so equity, mm-hmm. you know, the fairness, the yes. justice, like these are the things that we want to call into our, not only ourselves, but for our, our circle and indeed mm-hmm. for the entire planet. Yeah. Because it's not just us. Like, just remember as above, so below as the universe so the soul Mm -hmm. like that has so much meaning we are so tied to the cosmos so you have to know that any turmoil that we are experiencing right here on the ground as minuscule as we are in the grand scale there are bigger things at play and we are experiencing these things together so we we all need to focus on rebalancing you all feel how out of whack we it seems like we've been in and out of alternate timelines with the former president Mm -hmm. with covid and coronavirus Mm -hmm. and now you know with this 
strange as fuck war because this is weird okay like it's just it is weird. all it is all weird it is you know? all has all been uh ill communicated and mishandled and just every facet of it right yeah. and i also feel and i and i'm I, i've been feeling this for weeks that it is part of a divine plan and i also see uh women especially black women taking their rightful places like i feel a divine power well, within yes. the divine feminine that is rising is rising. rising and rising because the men have been trash for so very long so y'all long. remember that dream i had <laughs> a couple years ago it was a few years ago like right when right before donald trump won when i was in the room mm-hmm. and it was donald trump and Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping. I remember. Yeah. And some other I like Arab or I I just couldn't see who that other man was, but then the goddess was there, the red woman, mm. and she was berating them and she was saying this this and this is what's going to happen. Like I remember. So like the things are still so first was Trump, mm-hmm. right? Now we have Putin mm-hmm. doing some weird shit. So next, Xi Jinping is going to pull something too. So I mean, <sighs> you got to be ready for that because things are in turmoil, and you know, ancient history has proven that the Chinese government they invented imperialism and play the long game, thousands of years of game. Yes. Yeah, thousands. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, please thousands of years of game okay mm-hmm. you, we don't get it twisted i i'm not racist against chinese people i'm talking about politics imperialism okay? yes and in fact in fact so, that we see playing out right now and, in politics and i'm a witch and, and, a healthcare. and i've had a dream and it has <laughs> consistently been coming true so um, just look for more kind of drama which brings me to the point get yourself in balance Okay, mm-hmm. get yourself into the best position you possibly can physically, mentally, emotionally, like g- gather your crew, like get it together. Gather your covens, boo. Yes. This is the perfect time. It's in fact, you know, gather if you can gather virtually um, in person would be great. But if you can gather virtually for the equinox to set intentions would be mm-hmm. so amazing to do, which was, reminds me that I was um, in, intending on doing that, <laughs> like posting something in our group. Okay, so this is getting me together too. Um, so getting um, getting together and um, stating clearly what is necessary and needed in, in on the planet, you know, not and and not just looking at it from you know what you need but what does your community need yes. what does the world need like Lorena was saying like calling into balance those things that we need um lower gas prices i mean we yes. don't need to keep depending on f- fuel but baby you can call that into existence i mean somebody called um, this shit into existence send hello. it back Send that back. Send yes. all of this energy reverse. back, y'all. Reverse it. Reverse, reverse, reverse. And remember, the spring is about newness. So mm. what new ideas? What does a new world look like? Because we get to call that into existence sure now. Do. Like when things in- are in chaos, mm-hmm. that is the perfect time to build a new order. Okay? But that's true whether you're good or evil, where you're, whether you're wicked or right. So if you're righteous and you're gathering your righteous crew, just know that the wicked ones are doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay? So then the strength is in the numbers. We have to work together to build a better order. Okay? Right. And that leaves like these a- motherfuckers are trying to send us back in time. And we do not want that. And that leads us to the second topic that we wanted to talk about, which is like, okay, so we're talking about equinox and uh, equilibrium and equity. Um, it's fine. It's all about knowing and being mm. rooted 
in what your North Star is, yes. right? What is your North Star? What is that thing that is carrying not only you, but your people, our community to liberation, um, to balance, to freedom, to justice? So yeah. I, um, I was talking with Lorena before the podcast. Um, I just got the Ruth Bader Ginsburg Award um, for my activism yes. and <laughs> on, for women, right? And it, those who know me know that I am um, Black, unapologetic Black feminist. Um, and I am rooted in equity and justice. That is yes. my whole thing. And I've had to stand along many a days against people even in my own community yeah. um, fighting for justice because of what I believe I'm rooted in and, and standing in my North Star, right? Um, and so when you're standing in your North Star, so the day before I got the award was Harriet Tubman's day. And March 15th, the day that this podcast will broadcast, is Ruth Bader Ginsburg's birthday, right? And I was the speech that I gave was about um, those two women knowing what their North Star it was. It wasn't just about them being free. It wasn't about what they wanted or what freedom was just as a personal thing for them. Um, and either one of those two women could have been like, okay, well, I got my freedom. I got my justice. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm good. Like I don't have to do nothing else. Yeah. But that was not their North star. Their North star was like, if, if my sister ain't free, if my, because Harriet Tubman actually came back to get her sister mm -hmm. and her niece, her niece was about to be sold on the auction block. And she got wind of it. And she was like, no, no, no. I'm not waiting for nobody. Right. I'm actually going to stand in my North Star and allow the ancestors and spirits to speak to me and trust in that and go that back conviction. for my people. Yeah, that go back. Is strong. Like when you find that North Star and you're rooted in conviction. Right. You can't help but to succeed. Right. It is such a righteous space. Right. To, root. Like root in that passion and follow that. Like when you find that purpose. Right. Yeah. Right. Ruth Bader Ginsburg could have just been a professor. She could have been like, well, you know, I was like the first woman in my Harvard cl law class. Like, I don't right. have to do this. Like, I opened She's the like, door already. I did already. it all already. You I opened do it the door. I did. So, like, right. she kept going. She and kept she opened going. so many more doors and windows. So many. So many. Paved so many paths. And, and, and let me tell you, she sat in that chair and held down abortion access and women's rights mm -hmm. um, until she couldn't anymore. Yeah. So it is up to us, like she Harriet was, Tubman. She fought with every single breath in her body. They both every, did. They both did until they couldn't anymore, until they were done with this existence. Yeah. Until so they what I. To another what realm. I'm, I bet they're fighting from that realm too as ancestors. And it is. You know? it is. Yeah. And they are our North Stars, right? They, mm -hmm. Their path of justice and liberty until like, until I'm not here no more, community service, like um, acting as a source for the revolution. And they were, I mean, revolution. Come on, Harriet Tubman is like, yes. I'm going, I not only am I going to get my people free, I am going I to mean, work as a spy. Has there ever, <laughs> like, she deserves so many accolades because ain't so no many. one ever, like, I don't think people realize the true gravity of what this woman did. Like, the danger, the divine protection that she was under to have been able to accomplish these miracles, okay? Miracles. 
Like, like even today we yes. can barely get away with anything, okay? <laughs> Let me <So>. tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Divine protection and yes. being rooted in your north star, yes. like knowing that you will not be seated at any table where you're not supposed to be. Yes. You will you will be in the room everywhere you're supposed to be and when you're supposed to be there and yes. with divine protection. Like, you know, um, part of our discussion of being rooted in your North Star is like, um, I've been waking up with the, the biblical verse, like your, uh, that God will prepare a table for you before your enemies. Mm -hmm. um, and it is so true. And, and, and also, tables that are luxurious tables tables that you're supposed to have these conversations yeah. at tables with ease and with grace and tables you're not supposed to be at even if there are amongst your enemies you won't be there right I, it's important too, you guys those words ease and grace you deserve those things okay i live with ease i live with grace I accept with ease. I accept with grace. Like those words are important and they're something that we really need to just integrate more into our lives um, with mantras or affirmations, however you can, um, because things get hard. Things are hard and we get hard on ourselves and, you know, self-care has become a, a, a big deal and we're all trying to like really get into that more. But even that for many of us requires ease and grace because i've come across people who feel guilty about self-care hmm. you know and all this talk about like giving oneself permission to to care for oneself i mean i think you know we end up getting more confused just care about yourself and give you the ease and the grace and the understanding like it's okay to give yourself what you need absolutely you know, absolutely it's, it's so important there's too much there's a lot of stress there's, there's so, a lot so much and even good things are stressful remember that mm -hmm. you can be going through a whole host of wonderful changes but it's taking a toll on you mm -hmm. okay things mm -hmm. are taxing it's not only negative things that are taxing positive things take a toll as well so just take note of that and give yourself like the space to adjust the time to process, the pampering that you deserve, that's all included in finding the equilibrium, right? So Ashe. Ashe. finding your North Star, how are you going to do that without like finding a way to center yourself? And allowing spirit to prepare the tables. Yes. It yes. don't, it, you know, and, and I don't mean to get all bi heavy biblical text, but it is a book that I utilize as a black witch. Oh, you know, so we, we know, we, yeah. you know, we love it. And it's, and, and I know it to be a black witch Oracle. So Definitely. with that being said, um, allow spirit, allow God, allow the creator, allow your divine protective beings, your Arisha, you know, Loa, allow them to prepare the table for you before your enemies yes allow them to do that work while you're finding the equilibrium while you mm -hmm. step back while you take care of yourself know that your spirits are at work protecting you and preparing mm -hmm. your tables okay that's the north star that you are Absolutely. rooted in that is where your real power exists mm. ashe Ashe. So look, <laughs> finally we pull cards. L Lorena, you want to talk about your card? We pull yes. the card for y'all for this. Uh, so, uh, even the cards are like just right in line. It's not even planned. It's just okay. We're gonna do a podcast. Let's pull the cards and then the cards just match. Okay. Every so, time. I'm doing the the Kuan Yin Oracle cards, um, and I've done like a reading or two on the Patreon. So you've seen them on um, the, the Kuan Yin Oracle deck is by Alana Fairchild. They're very beautiful. Um, the card that I pulled is Bamboo Moon and it's all about divine timing. And what I find to be so interesting about having pulled this card is 
we talked about Ruth Bader Ginsburg's birthday and Harriet Tubman Day and how everything is like falling in between those, right? So I'm going to read the inscription on this card. It's called Bamboo Moon. Did you know that there are no mistakes in the universe and that all events, circumstances, relationships, and situations are unfolding in perfection with the timing and intelligence of the divine plan? Any apparent delay is in your favor. If something is happening for you right now, then that's perfect too. Divine timing is perfection, and it's safe to trust this now. Ah, uh, Shay. Yes. So, you know, like, <laughs> Kuan Yin being the bodhisattva of, like, pure compassion and, like, just helping us to love ourselves again, you know, loving us when we maybe we feel like we don't deserve it or we don't have enough or, or whatever. There's always this ray of compassion like that we can call on and I mean this is kind of a, a universal concept the divine timing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know it's it's kind of like a it transcends like whatever religion philosophy it's just almost a given like everyone talks about divine timing and things kind of falling into place or things that aren't meant for you falling away and making room for what is yours and that also goes right in line with the table preparation (laughs) absolutely absolutely it's your time and here it is and if it's not your time we're going to keep you from that worry that's you know? right. We, yeah. I mean, we're going to we're gonna keep uh, all of those things that are not for you away from you. And that is why, like, being rooted in your North Star is, like, and, and, and doing that self-care that Lorena was talking about, taking this time to call in those things and resources, those beings that you need into your life, those, that timing is right now. Um, and trusting your spirit guides. Know that they got your back. That they are the divine timing. They are. They will tell you, baby, now is the time. They will come into your dreams and be like, do this, do X, Y, Z. As a matter of fact, the equinox (laughs) is such a good time to get into spiritual contact with those beings. Mm -hmm. And I can actually recommend if you're looking for some type of ritual to do, you can do that type of ritual. Mm -hmm. Like if you're, you're looking for your spirit guardians you're looking to find out more about your spirit guides you're looking to um, perhaps connect more with a familiar um, because of that equal that Mm -hmm. that equal space like that liminal space this is a great time to do things like that absolutely so even if you want to look into like if you're trying to study into your past lives um, the equinoxes are just a really really good time to kind of do underworld things (laughs) <laughs> and so the card that i pulled that actually coincides with the divine timing card that lorena pulled is the father of knives and this is from and i love this uh tarot the hoodoo tarot um and it's by uh tanya lee mcquill Mc- 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 killer sorry i think that i'm saying this wrong mcquiller McQuiller? Yeah, yeah McQuiller. McQuiller. Sorry, babes, if I'm messing your name up and you hear this, you know, know that I love you and <laughs> I don't mean to mess your name up. But um, I love the Hulu deck. Highly recommends it. Like, Highly recommend. It's beautiful. I picked one up too while I was in New Orleans. It's beautiful and a powerful deck. And so Father of Knives, um, the image is the father of knives is standing outside a circle of cornmeal with a knife stuck in the center. There are broken time pieces in the circle with the big hand pointing to the numerical value of a person's name. Their time annoying him is up. Yes. Baby, those, the people places and things that have I gotten. I love that. Your time on, is up. Your time is up. <laughs> it is all in divine time. And guess what? Their time is up. Yes. Um, I want you to put a bow on them and just like tie bury it, it. Tie it up. It's time to cleanse. 
spring cleaning time is here. Open up them windows. We have yes. all been in the house Clear for out two whole cobwebs. years, y'all. Two whole years. Clean out them corners of your house. Put down some new camphor in those corners. Mm -hmm. Put some bay leaves yes. in the corner. You know, wipe your walls down. You know, get you some bay rum and sprinkle on your door. Like all of the things, do your spring cleaning right now and let all of these energies be released. Release all of that. You no longer need that energy. There, uh, the spirits are telling you those people who have annoyed you, those people who have wronged you, those people who know they owe you, their time is up, darling. Their uh, time is up. So, what's that mantra we would say? Out with the old and with the, and new. With the new. What serves no go good purpose now fades out of view. Out of view. Absolutely. And, um, and so what I would uh, suggest if you are the person that has been being annoying, mm. I'm going to make this my last statement of this segment. If you know you have wronged somebody, if you know you have been annoying to somebody, if you know you owe somebody, I would highly suggest that you pay those debts, yes. get right with spirit, mm. right? Get right with spirit, get right with them people, apologize, yeah, and center yourself. Because just like those people, like if you have been the one that's being annoyed, that energy is coming back to you. Yeah. The time is up. The time is up. The time is up. So just consider that. Like, no accountability is real accountability is key and if your blessings aren't rolling in you you have to examine like what have you been doing that's true okay like you just have to examine that because we are accountable for our actions our behavior and we know what we're putting out there and if you're like, if your actions don't match your expectation, like what well, that's your fault and you can't put that on people. Okay. So I am a firm believer that, you know, when we work hard, especially as magical practitioners, like it, we can get what we deserve. Right. But sometimes it seems like we're getting, you know, some sour lemons, right? Um, but we also, again, as practitioners, we have an added responsibility to discover like, okay, am I creating these sour lemons? Have I done something or is, you know, there's just a lot to consider, but we have to open our minds and our hearts because otherwise, how are we going to get ahead? Right. You, you have to be accountable. And we, we literally every moment of every day, we're creating our fate. You know, we are, we are creating our destiny. And right now, as I stated earlier, in the midst of this chaos, you have a perfect opportunity to create a whole new order. Okay. For yourself as an individual, whether for your family, for your inner circle, there are many, many pieces that you can put into place now and basically secure any type of foundation that you desire. But if you don't, that you're just going to wait for the chaos to form into something that maybe you don't want to deal with. So don't, don't just miss out on this opportunity to kind of shape and create how you want things to be your own reality right now. Now is the time you see that things that don't make any sense are just happening. Don't let that be you. Okay, <laughs> make okay. sense of your shit. Y'all get it, get it, get it. And with that, we are we are at our time and we loved having this time with you. Um, we hope that you have a beautiful spring equinox and good luck calling all those resources in that you and your community need. Good luck. We love you. Bye bye. Check us out. <laughs>